This video clip will show you how you can upload multiple files into your Blackboard course content collection all at the same time by zipping them together first. You can use this as an alternative to the drag and drop method of uploading multiple files, which requires a functioning Java plugin on your computer. First, you need to zip the files together. So over here on the right, I have some sample files for a sample course. I need to select all of these. There are a couple of different ways you can do this. You can select the first one, hold down the shift key or on the Mac the command key, and select the last one, and it selects everything in between. Or you can left click somewhere near the files, but not on any particular file, but left click and start dragging, and you'll see a shaded box like this. Make sure the box covers all the files that you want and let go, and that also selects all of them. Now, right-click over any of these shaded files and select Send to Compressed Zipped Folder. And don't worry too much about what name it adds in here. You need to rename this something obvious, so if you needed to use this file again, you know exactly what it is. So I'm going to call this Bio 101 Sample Zip Files. And then just click away and it'll save the name. Now I'll go back to my Blackboard course. I'm going to click on Upload and then Upload Zip Package. I will click Browse and select that zip file here. Make sure the name appears to the right of the Browse button. Leave the default in this drop-down menu and simply click Submit. If you have a lot of files or very large files, this may take a minute or more. If you have very large files, I'd recommend breaking them into groups and uploading them a few at a time. Blackboard will unzip the file for you and place the folders and the files that were inside the folders in the original folder structure. You can see I had getting started, test question images, and then A through D. And that's what I've got here, getting started, test question images, and A through D. This is very convenient because you're already familiar with this folder structure, and now you can very easily find the files that you need inside your Blackboard course. You are now no longer required to be working on the computer where these files are saved because they're preloaded into your course for you, ready for you to use at any time. If you have any additional questions about this, just contact your college's Blackboard administrator.